back to Mizzou. In this video, in this video, we will learn how to draw the orthographic projection of the given diagram, which is shown in the uh, screen. Okay. Now I have modeled this uh, 3D model with a 3D modeling software like this. So I have given the different colors for different surfaces. Now in the problem it is given that the arrow mark is given in this direction. So this is your front view direction and this is your top view direction and the side view you, you are going to draw only one side that is left side or right side. Here in this diagram your left side view that is this side view can be viewed easily rather than the right side view. So what you are going to do is you are going to draw the front view, the front view, top view and the left side view. These three views we are going to draw. So this is your 3D model of that given diagram. And if you see in the front view, this red, the red color surfaces will be seen in the front view. This blue color surface will be viewed as a line from in this direction. So let me show the front view first. So this is your, this may be your front view direction. So this surface will be viewed as a line in the front view. So this is your exact, sorry. This is your exact front view. That is this rectangle box and this rectangle box will be this rectangle and this rectangle will be visible in the front view. Similarly, in the top view, you can see this blue color surface and this blue color surface and these two yellow color surface are the proper rectangle like this. So, okay. Similarly, this slant edge will be viewed as a rectangle like this. In the top view, you can see a diagram like this only. So, you can see these blue color surfaces and these uh, yellow color surfaces are some parts and this also viewed in the top view. Similarly, in the front view, these two, that is, these two, these two green color surfaces can be seen, and also this green color surface can also be seen. That is, your front view, your left side view will be like this. Okay, your left side view will be like this. So let me take some. Okay, we will solve the same problem with the paper and pencil in the convention of that. Now, let me explain the, this isometric view first. So, in this isometric view, the arrow mark is given in this direction. So, this is your front view direction, this is your top view direction, this is your front view direction, and this is your top view direction, this is your left side view direction. So left side view is clear here, so you have to draw only the left side view unless otherwise in the question it is asked to draw the right side view. So left side view has to be drawn right side to the front view diagram. Okay. Now this total length, this total height is given as 56 mm and this length is given as 75 mm and this side width is given as 50 mm. Right? So similarly this small box, this side, this is your vertical line, this is your horizontal line and this line is not a vertical line, this line is a slant edge. So, this is 24, this is 24, the height will be 56 minus 32, the height also will be 22. Then, from this face to this face, there is a gap of 12 mm. So, total length is 50 mm, this is 12 mm. And so, this line length is 38 mm. So, this line length is 24 mm. So, there will be ultimate, a slant edge will be here. When you view from the side, that is left side or right side, you can see this slant edge clearly. This is a vertical line, this is a horizontal line, this is a slant line. Similarly, this length is 9 mm and the height of this V edge is a uh, direct height of this V edge is the total height is 56 this is 24 so this is 32 32 minus 16 balance 16 is the height of this V similarly the width of this V is total length is 50 and 50 minus 9 
plus 9 equal to 32 is the width of this mean. So, this is 32, this is 16. Okay. Now, this is your front view direction. In the front view, what are all the faces you will see? You can see this face completely. This place completely. Dimension is 75 into 32, right? Similarly, you can see this smaller face also completely. The size of this will be 24 into 24. Let me draw this front view first. Okay, this is the front view. So this face, this face will be 75 into 32. So this line is 75 mm and this is 32 mm. Similarly, this is 24 of height, 24 of width. Now this V block has to be shown in the front view. So this V has to be shown in the front view since there is a smaller material in this V. So in this, this V has to be shown. When you view from this direction, this edge will be visible. So, this edge is 16 mm away from the top. So, from this point, from this point, take 16 mm and from that point, draw a horizontal line to a length of 36 mm. From this edge, it is 36 mm V. So, from here to a length of 36 mm. Okay, in the front view it is shown as this V is shown like this. Now we can go for the top view. Right. In the top view, what are the faces you, you can see? You can see this face completely in the top view. Okay. Similarly, you can see from here to here up to this edge. That is, this edge will also you can see in the top view. Again, this face will be completely visible. And see this face completely. Similarly, now this V block has two slant edges. That is, this is one slant edge angled surface, and another angled surface will be in this direction. These two surfaces also will be seen as a flat surface in the front view. So, in the top view, let me draw the top view, you can understand. Now, the length of the top view is again 75 mm and the width is 50 mm. So, again this is 75. So, let me extend this line from here make a 75 mm line. So, from here you have to make 50 mm line. This is my 50 mm and the front here make a 75 mm. So this is the complete box that is 75 into 50. In this 75, in this 75 mm box, 75 into 50 box. You have to mention this V. This V length is from this end it is 9 mm, from bottom end it is 9 mm. So from here it is 9 mm, from here it is 9 mm. The length is 36. Already we marked 36 here. So what? 
at a 9 mm distance make a point from the top also at 9 mm distance make a point and then from this end for a length of 36 mm just draw a line like this here also for a length of 36 mm draw a line like this and then connect these two points this is your V also you have to show this edge this bottom edge is visible that edge will be at the exact center of this small box ok so we have shown this V in the V block in the top also now this surface has to be shown this surface is 12 mm away from this line so from this line it is 12 mm away so from this line make a point 12 mm here <coughs> Now, the length of the surface is 24 mm. So, from here for a 24 mm, just make a line like this. Okay. Then, close this box. Now, this line is having 15 minus 12, 38 mm. Similarly, now this line is having 38 mm. Okay. Now, what you have to do is, I, I told you this is a uh, slant edge. So, if you have a slant edge like this, you will so you can see a edge here and you can see a edge here also. Similarly, this slant edge bottom line is the, this line is the bottom edge line and the top line has to be shown. The top line is 24 mm away from this line, that is this line. From here, at a 24 mm distance, draw a line like this. Okay, this is your top face, this is your bottom face. So, this is your top view, and you have to draw the left side view on the right side of your front view direction. Now in the left side view, what are the faces you can see? You can see this face completely. Okay, this face, that is this B block face, when you view from this side, this face will be completely visible and it will be coincide with this surface. So, what you, uh, you will draw? You will draw a perfect rectangle like this and the length of this rectangle will be 50, height of this rectangle will be 32 it is given here and this surface has to be drawn like this. This surface length will be, this length will be 18, 15 minus 18 is 38. So, this height will be 32 minus 16. 16. So, here another 16. This is what you are going to draw in the left side view. Similarly, this surface has to be shown in the left side view. Okay, This surface has to be drawn like this. So, this is your left side view. So, this is what I am going to draw in the left side view. the side view from this point make a 45 degree line so this is my 45 degree line now as i already told you this has to be drawn here this length is 50 mm again okay? this length is 50 mm so this has to be transferred to here so what you have to do just draw a horizontal line from this point from this point and then project these two points vertically, you will get exactly the 50, 50 mm line. So, 
this is your 50 mm line then for a height of 32 mm draw a box so that 32 mm is this length this point make a line of height 32 mm then close this box this box will be equal to the this line so this is my 32 into 50 mm box then then this slant edge has to be completed to complete that slant edge this all this point has to be transferred this point has to be first transferred horizontally like this and vertically to here to here then from this point for the length of 24 in round 20 here for the length of 24 mm then join these two Okay, then the last thing you have to show this V block here. That V block is 38 mm of length and 16 mm of height. Exactly at the center of this slide. That is of this line. Just make a point 16 mm of height. So from that center, it has to be the length has to be 38 mm. So from here, 19 mm. From here, 19 mm. Just draw these V blocks. Okay. Then give all the dimensions 